Want to watch YouTube? The Sasso soap opera? Mm, no thanks. Dragon Ball Z is a soap opera. You enjoy that. Dragon Ball Z is exciting. Whatever. can of chili at I found my driving gloves finally I told you knuckles I want to get there in one piece <laughs> that's a good anime oh god I always have a spare why do you always have Schlemels. Amy, what the heck? Robotic! What have you done? It was a rental! What were you thinking? Tails, I needed to remove a piece in order for us to get there. In one piece. You woke. Yeah! Oh yeah! This is way better than robotic! Finally, I've been waiting for this moment. I can now consider you a friend. For every punch I feel closer to you. Fists of friendship. Keep punching. Amy, isn't this great? Wait, wait, you're not looking, you're missing the whole thing! Shalom, my little Schlemels. It is I, Uncle Schlemel, coming to you with this most kosher of chili advertisements. Are you tired of going to the grocery store and finding non-kosher chili? Your Uncle Schlemel has the very thing you need to take care of your hot dog of the chili variety needs. With less than, no more than three varieties of flavors, you will be sure to find that any kind of Schlemels taste great on top of your favorite meals. Get off your tuchus and grab yourself as many cans as you can. Now made with 47% more hedgehog with every can. Good evening. It is I, Knuckles, the proud and only survivor of the Echidna Warrior Clan. Your movie Knuckles! You're ruining the April Fool's joke! Correction. It is I, movie Knuckles. Single remaining survivor. Sole survivor of the Echidna Warrior Clan. Lone Wolf. Protecting the family jewel. Just get on with the joke! You've used up too much screen time. Now we have to use pictures. A picture is worth a thousand words, Sonic. More valuable than, say, the Chaos Emeralds? What's this? A picture of the Chaos Emeralds. I made it myself. Speaking of pictures, of the moving variety, we do not have my moving picture here today. Ugh, movie Knuckles, that's the joke! You're ruining the joke! To be frank, there is no reason to show you the film. The three-act structure has been obliterated. Most of it has already been revealed in the form of YouTube posts and trailers. You can't spoil food if you've already consumed it. A little gem there for you. Hmm. Speak of the devil, a fool is calling on this day. Oh, my god. Hiya, Knuckles! Correction, Simpleton, it is I, Movie Knuckles, sole survivor of the Echidna Warriors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm looking for a guy. First name Mo, last name Ron. Do you happen to know him? Did you, uh, do you happen to know him? Uh, damn it. <laughs> do you happen to know him by chance? I will tend to this matter at once, which is more than you deserve. Filthy scum. Is there a man here by the name of Mo? First name Mo, surname Ron? Not the Echidna Warrior Clan. Has anyone seen a Moron? Oh, that's clever. That's good. Okay, okay, hotshot, bye bye My faith in this movie has been rejuvenated. Like a good sit on the Master Emerald. Sonic, why didn't you come up with something funny like this instead of talking about the value of pictures? We have moved past pictures. The pictures now move. Moving pictures? Happy April Fools! Wait for this movie to come out on VHS. 
Tails isn't worth the price of admission. Ah! Another I fine finished. addition on the Day of Fools in this April. I see your hatred of the two-tailed fox is strong as well. Do we just become best friends? Absolutely. We have much to discuss. Tell me, does your Tails have a plant he's in love with too? Is that the name in which he goes by? I usually just refer to him as the nuisance. That's perfect. Don't even call him by his name. It gives him confidence. And we don't want that. I don't have any rings left. Darkness can bring me to my heart's true essence. Yeah! I've got plenty of great ideas for you, Sonic. Okay, my body is ready. Hit me with your first banger. Here we go.
All right, Sonic, I've got something brand new for you. Brand new? Like the band? What? No. Okay. Brand new day? No, 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 brand new. A box full of sharp objects, mid-2000s, right around the time your game came out. Maybe you were busy. Please, tell me your idea. Two Italian brothers in New York City. Let's say, uh, Brooklyn. The plumbers, right? They clear drains, unclog toilets. One day they find a really, really big pipe. And they say, wow, that's a big pipe. And then they unclog it. The end. Okay, so let's break it down. Hero's journey. There's the normal world, and then the heroes have to go to the secret world. Is the secret world the unclogged pipes? Or perhaps there's something beyond those pipes. Perhaps a magical kingdom. I don't know. What do you think? They're unclogging toilets. They're heroes. They're, one might say, they are super brothers. Uh, so, is it a film about- It's a film about pipes, Sonic. What are you not getting here? Pipes need to be unclogged. Not enough people are shedding a light on this. Is there anyone to save? The pipes! Save the pipes, save the world. That could be the slogan. Save the pipes, save the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking for director, Donald Petrie, director of the hit film Little Italy, starring Hayden Christensen. Will Hayden Christensen be in this pipe-fitting film? He could be. Perhaps as one of the brothers? The super brothers? He could be a super brother. What do we call in this movie, Shadow? The Super Pipe Brothers? No. Pipe fitting? No. The Pipe Handlers? The Super Brothers. Okay. I, I, I can't really bring it up, but there's a movie by Nintendo that's coming out uh, later this year that has uh, two aforementioned Italian brothers. Do we release it on the same weekend? Sure, I don't care. Throw away your money. That's fine. Listen, I just come up with the ideas. You're the one that executes them. Who should be the other brother? We got Kane Christensen. Um, what about you? John Ligazamo. Shadow, he was a Mario brother, okay? You want- I don't- l <laughs> Listen. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I get that you were gone from my planet for 50 years, but come on, man. John Ligazamo is hot, okay? We don't talk about Bruno, but we do talk about Bruno's actor, John Ligazamo, who would be a perfect super brother. Who else do you want in this film, JTT? Hold on, I know a JT. What's, who's, oh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, of course. You're having an off day, Shadow, what's going on? I was, I was, I don't know, my brain went to Justin Timberlake, I, you're right, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah, uh, hmm. <clears throat> Maybe JTT could be the person with the pipe. Okay. They gotta unclog JTT's pipes. That could be the slogan. Brilliant, Shadow. Moving on. Give me your next idea. Man, I'm so ready. So anyway, I know this whole thing with Movie Sonic has been difficult. I want to thank you for your support. You don't need to thank me. This has all been my fault. His time is coming, though. Please, don't hurt him. I think he's just confused. Him and I have unfinished business, Amy. I can promise you, though, that I just want to talk. Sonic. Hey, it'll be fine. Don't worry. So, how'd you meet him anyway? He came out of nowhere. Well... He was at the premiere, but before the movie, I hadn't heard of him either. He just popped into our lives. <sighs> what? Nothing. I'm overthinking things. It's okay. What's on your mind? Listen, we hadn't heard from Robotnik in such a long time, and then suddenly Movie Sonic appears. Yeah. Usually, there's a schedule with Robotnik. I can predict when he's going to attack. No need for Taro. Funny. So anyways, instead of a Silver Sonic or a Metal Sonic, there's a... Right. So what's Robotnik's plan then? Defamation? If that's the case, he nailed it. Or was it to split us up? I'm not sure that was his or even Movie Sonic's plan. Or maybe it was. I don't know. I'm just being paranoid. Besides, there's something else too.
You're ashamed. Yes, how'd you know? We should be enjoying ourselves, but instead... I've been worried about worrying. It's been bringing the mood down. Hey, I totally get it. This whole robo-vacation has been strange for everyone. I've actually had time to think. Robo-vacation? Thought you'd like that. I did. And what else have you been thinking about? <laughs> Uh, you. Ooh, scandalous. Hey, we better not let Movie Amy find out. <laughs> Paralyzed, we cannot move. Good evening. It has come to my attention that Movie Knuckles, me, is furry. Fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had an uncomfortable amount of hair. In no way is this fit for combat. Apparently me in this form is considered canon. I mean, there's no way I can fire a projectile in this state. And even though I already existed prior to- Wait a minute. If I look this ridiculous, then mayhaps. Sonic, what was the name of your boy servant? Tails? No. The other one. Movie Tails? Yes! Yes! Retrieve him at once. Heh, <laughs> fat chance. There's no way he'll agree to that. Resplendent! A spectacular display, wouldn't you say, Sasso Sonic? I still can't believe you got him to do it. I hate you both. <laughs> Yes, we love to hate you as well, boy servant. Fetch me a drink of the purple variety post-haste. Wow, we all look great! <laughs> Come on, Team Sonic! The movie premiere awaits us! Stop! I personally think this ineffectual combat suit enhances your handsome features, Movie Sonic. Yeah! This is gonna be bitchin'! Shine City, baby! <laughs> Stop! It's way too much. Ugh, gross. Sometimes you aren't given a choice. <sighs> a moment of no turning back. Clarity strikes. You know what must be done. So what's Robotnik's plan then? Defamation? Vasicates and nailed it. Or was it to split us up? The only thing left... is to finish what was started. <laughs> yes, my on-screen debut was resplendent! Man, it's so great having such a worthy counterpart. <laughs> Indubitably. Sonic, you need to be friends with your other half. Both of you are so... tense. Yes, yes, and to ease the tension of our oddly colored friend, I've brought along a special guest! Jesus Christ! Oh no! Wow, it's so great to meet a real star. Thanks for having me on. No, no, the pleasure is all mine. We need more coverage of positive role models such as yourself. I hear you. I was so worried about the next generation until I met you and your highly qualified friend. Come on. <laughs> you said it, honey, and gorgeous looking. Would you mind giving our nephew Sonic a few pointers? No problem, ma'am. What did I do to deserve this? Between us friends, poor Sonic was still wetting the bed into his teenage years. <laughs> ah, Jesus! 
Come on! We're live! If that truly is the case, then we must solve the mystery of this bedwetting issue at once! Sonic, as someone close and dear to you, why would you not tell me of your issues? The poor thing still sleeps in his old race car bed, too. No, no, no. I took care of that. Little... tragic accident. Your car is the worst. Well, thank you. You know, it was no wonder he couldn't get that attention of that nice Amy Rose girl. Oh, my God. Listen, my nephew needs all the help he can get. He's pretty pathetic. Gets it off his brother's side. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming on to our show and shedding some much needed light onto one of our most beloved friends. Truly, we appreciate it. Hey, Chuck, are we still on for crushing cans tonight? My favorite. Absolutely. Ooh, yes. I've been practicing. Well, folks, that's all we have for today's show. Son of a bitch! My life is hell! See you next time. See you next time. Oh, that was movie knuckles. <laughs> <laughs>
I stand corrected, Sonic. This show is just like DBZ. Because of the numerous references? No, silly. The filler. I've been waiting two years for you and Movie Sonic to fight. Ugh. Oh, so tantalizing. It'll happen. We're gonna fight. Why don't you fight him? I'm a gentleman. Gentlemen don't fight. 